Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to slow down your footage in Twixter using a Twixter plugin in After Effects CS5. The, what we're going to do today obviously is slow down standard everyday camera footage. So it's not 60 frames a second, it's not high speed footage, it's just your standard 29 frames or 24 frames footage. Um, and we're just going to slow that down to show you how it looks as it is. Obviously, ideally you would shoot at a higher uh, frames per second, but in this case, we thought we'd show you, because most people don't have cameras that uh, that can actually shoot that kind of speed, so we thought we'd go with um, what we have. Okay, this is the footage, this is an example of what it looks like. As you can see, it's fairly smooth. As I said, it wasn't shot at 60 frames a second or higher, so it's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Okay, let's get started. First of all, open up After Effects and open up a new comp and drag your file down to the timeline. This is a pretty quick and easy tutorial. This is your footage here. It's about six and a half seconds or so. Right click on that footage and select Time, Enable Time Remapping. Now those two points you won't touch, just leave those there. Also right click on that footage and go flame, frame blending and select pixel motion. It'll make it easier for you as far as the rendering goes. Okay, so there's your initial startup. Now we go up to effect and we get scroll down to revision plugins Twixter Pro. Okay, now as you can see, there's your normal frame rate there. So I'm gonna change that to 59, just so it thinks it's 60 frames a second. And that's it. Go down to your effects tab down the bottom, click on Twixter, select output control. And you've got speed here. Obviously the lower the number, the slower it is. So for the example, I think we went 30. I think we'll go for we'll go for 30 again on this one. That's 30% speed. So it's slowed right down. Okay. Now what you need to do now is leave those points there, but you can drag your footage for as long as you want. Now your footage will go, you can pretty much drag your footage out until it stops moving. Once it stops moving, that's, as, that's, that's the full um, footage extended to the maximum length. In this case, it went further than 20 odd seconds, which is pretty cool. So if you actually watch that back, you can see it's much slower. Okay, and the last thing you need to do, which is very important, is you need to select motion blur on your footage and also motion blur for the comp. That'll actually smooth out a lot of the edges and, and so on because what Twixter does, it adds, actually adds blurred frames in between your actual footage to um, to help slow it down. Anyway, I hope this helped, and until next time, thank you for watching, and also like and subscribe if you like our vids. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.